Well, here we are again. I said I'd give you a closer look at this. Regulated supply. And, and this is what it is. So, and the instructions are not too bad. Uh, I mean, everything's pretty good size. Let's see. Especially when you get to the pictorial diagram, what's supposed to look like. <clears throat> and then here's the circuit diagram on the back. <clears throat> so that will be pretty good either way. Uh, so, and then what they also give you is the template for the board. And this looks like it's got that stick on back. So you just go ahead and stick it right on here. And yeah, here it is right there. So you go ahead and stick that on there and then, then you're all set with that board and everything that's on it. So boy, there sure are a lot of those <laughs> Little metal tabs, though, that's for sure. There's a lot of them. So you've got that in your board. And they give you a lot of the your main parts for that. And more parts. And then hardware, of course, you're going to need all those little, little tabs you, you're going to screw onto that board. So there's a lot of Actually, it looks they're not wood screws. They're using sheet metal screws, which is kind of weird. But uh, to put all these little tabs in. So there's that. And then you've got, I guess you've got to hook up one color wire. That's all. And I can't tell. That is really some thin stuff. <clears throat> I know what's wrong with my throat today. Uh starts disappearing on me. Uh, let's see, well, what does it say? Uh, can't really read it. Let's see. 20 gauge, 20 gauge 18 gauge? I uh, figure somewhere around there. It still seems awful small for something like that. But anyhow, got that. Then they can give you the transformer for it. I've never unwrapped it yet, so it'll be a surprise to me what it looks like, too. So, there is the main transformer. And it says PT-292 on the top. Hmm. So, anyhow, so you've got black ones of course or for the 117 coming in and then you have all the rest for the filaments well they do this they stick it through one of the holes why they did that i don't know you don't need to do that you have all these things open free so so there's your all your other power leads coming off of there so and actually for a battery eliminator for a, uh, a 1928 radio or you know a lot of times they say it's a farm radio because they use batteries originally anyway but there's different voltages there's normally anywhere from three to five voltages on those uh, radios this case 1928 case I haven't checked to see what voltages I need on that so I'm gonna have to go and check on that but it's pretty pretty sure this thing can be used on just about everything on that. Uh, of course, you can do line cord. Uh, so the whole setup, the whole thing was uh, from the uh, antique uh, electronic supply, 
was uh, forty nine ninety eight, and it was shipping. I guess the shipping was another eight bucks. I think so. Roughly, it's almost sixty bucks uh, for uh, for this thing, which is kind of strange because sixty dollars is what I paid for the nineteen twenty eight radio, and I still have to find a speaker for it. I still haven't been able to do that yet either. So I'm gonna have to do that either do that or you make one make a horn speaker for it or just you know find another speaker for it but that's about it for that so let's see oh i know today i ended up washing chubby today that's why he's not in my room and here we have mr dookie is right there let's go see Let's see what Chubby's doing. There he is. Mr. Clean. Yeah, Mr. Clean is there. Notice his fur is nice and white. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Everybody has to spit. Oh, yeah. See? Oh, sure. He gets all clean and he starts barking. All right. Well, anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. Shut up. You want me to... What do you want me to do? What are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do now? Yeah, oop. Camera just... Oh, cut it out. Stop. Be a good boy. Roll over. Do something. Anyhow, that's going to be it for here. Bye for now.